in the actual cavity can be 30 times greater than the size of the bullet. And after the recoil, the cavity will be less than the actual cavity which was generated by the bullet. This is a gel model diagrammatic representation showing various types of cavitational effects. With the effect of cavitation, it, it will cause the outward movement of the tissues. And this is a clay model showing the cavitational effect. This is another small movie. You can see the cavitational effect of jelly, jelly model. You can see how larger the cavitational effect is. So that's how it will cause the damage to the tissues. In the final moments of the hunt, this is, success this is the, depends uh, on how which, well your bullet I performs. Was telling you. The bullet must be well placed, open instantly on impact, creating massive hydraulic shock and tissue destruction. This was the bullet which I was telling you, which was, which was actually banned in the previous lecture, having a hollow tip. And with, when it travels in the air, it will cause a mushroom shaped bullet, which will cause enormous damage. So the cavitational effect is produced by the high velocity weapon, but just by looking at the board, we can say that this is the high velocity weapon. So what is the medical importance of the wound ballistics? It helps un in, rec in recognizing the entry and the exit wound. It helps us in determining the distance of fire. We can determine the direction of fire and we can determine the relative position of the weapon and the victim, that is the angle of fire, the cause of death, the manner of death. And it helps us in identification of the weapon. So these are the medical legal importance. When we study the wound ballistics, it helps us in recognizing the entry and exit wound. It helps us in this fire, finding the distance of fire, direction of fire, angle of fire, cause of death, manner of death, and identification of weapon. So what are various components within the shot which are responsible for wounding? This is also known as the wounding elements, or what are the components which are responsible for causing wounding? The ammunition may be of both type, the handgun, the rifle, or smooth wood, but the basic wounding elements will be the same. They will be number one, either the bullet or the pellet, then the flame and heat, which will cause burning. Then the hot gases, the shock waves, which will cause cavitation, cavitational effect. Then the smoke, if the gunpowder is smoked, it will cause blackening around the injury. A wad which is in smooth board, which will also be having its own characteristics. Then the burnt or unburnt gunpowder particles will be embedded in the tissues, which is known as tattooing. Then the grease or lubricant of the barrel may travel with the bullet and it can also soil the skin. Then metal fragments, which is called as fouling, that the fragments of the barrel, shaving of the bullets within the barrel during the flight in the barrel, they may travel with the bullet and can have an effect on the surface where it is strike. So depending upon the distance, if it is close distance, all these findings can be seen. Then if it is, the weapon is firmly pressed against the skin, it will cause muzzle imprint. So these are all the factors which are responsible in causation of the wound. These are various shapes of the bullet. So the muzzle imprint. When there is flame emitting out, it will cause the muzzle end hot. And when the muzzle, hot muzzle end is pressed against the skin, it will cause an imprint. You can see in this uh, picture, the circular imprint. Here also you can see the 
मजल इम्प्रिंट कैन सी दी ब्लैक एंड मार्जन ब्लैकनिंग एट दी एंट्रेंस पॉइंट दिस वेपन इज शोइंग द इम्प्रिंट ऑफ द शेप ऑफ द मजल एंड This is also another picture showing the shape of the muzzle end having an imprint. Then the hot gases effect. Up to a few inches, the hot gases which will be traveling, they will be lacerating and producing damage to the bone and the soft tissue. And this is important that the when the underneath is bone, the hot gases will recoil back. and it will produce a stellate shape or irregular shape injury instead of circular or oval wound and if it is underneath is soft tissue the whole discharge will entering into the injury and will produce the damage inside so underneath when it is bone it will cause it like regular shape stellate shape injury the margin will be everted and star shaped a star shape wound stellate shape injury will be if there is underneath bone then the flame and the heat the flame is emitting out of the muzzle end and it will be causing burning you can see the flame being emitted from the muzzle end which will burn if it is close range that a few inches from the target it will burn this is an again a small movie you can see the flame being emitted out of the muzzle end so this flame which is emitted out will be seen up to few inches and it will cause burning of the skin and the clothes scorching of the hair and the skin and singeing of hair which is a specific phenomena that the keratin of the hair will be solidified melted and solidified a drumstick like appearance that is called singeing of hair so the burning will heat effect will cause burning scorching of the skin and the singeing of the hairs you can see the burnt margins then the pinkish discoloration because of the formation of met hemoglobin the carbon dioxide which combining with the hemoglobin will cause met hemoglobin the concentration of hemoglobin at the entry and the exit will help us in determining which is the entry wound and which is the exit wound so they will be up to few inches in this burning and blackening effect is lost at an arm's length usually 1 to 3 feet then the gun powder will be showing its effect if it is smoked gun powder the completely burnt will cause smoke effect that is cause blackening effect and the partially burnt or unburnt heavy coarse particle will cause powder tattooing so uh, the gun powder will cause either blackening or tattooing you can see the smoke which is traveling and the gun powder will be causing tattooing so the smoke gun powder if it is smokeless it will not soil but if it is smoked it will cause blackening at near contact or close contact these completely burnt particles producing smoke will cause blackening and this is up to 1 yard at an arm's length and smoke if you wash it it will be easily washed whereas tattooing tattooing which actually um, actually embedding of the particles within the skin and they do will not be washed this is blackening and when you wash it it will washed up 
So this is the histo histology, histological slide showing the concentration of the Now the powder tattooing. Tattooing is actually when the unburned, partially burned, or completely burned coarse particles, they travel along the bullet, they embed into the skin. They pierce and produce small punctate abrasions and will embed into the skin that is tattooing. And this is how it is visible. Up to one to two yards, that is close range distance, the tattooing will be seen. This is the unwashed face, and when you wash it, the blood and the black blackening will be washed, but the tattooing will not be washed. It is not washable because they have been embedded. So the powder tattooing, stippling or peppering, sprinkling of pepper, it is around the wound. It is because of the embedment of the coarse particles into the skin and it is at arm's length. Blackening is washable whereas tattooing is not washable. It is embedment into the tissue. So the gunpowder helps to determine the direction of fire at which angle the fire was struck and it is circular, tangential, so it helps us in determining the direction. Here you can see the direction. This also helps from this angle it was struck. So the skin damage, there will be either laceration, gross splitting, bruising, and collar of abrasion. So we talk specifically about the collar of abrasion. When the bullet is traveling, it is spinning because of the uh, rifling phenomena. The bullet is spinning and it is showing a rotational movement. And when it enters into the skin, it indents and rotates. It will cause rubbing and that causes collar of abrasion. The margin of the anti wound is abraded because of the spin, the circular movement of the bullet, which will cause collar of abrasion. Thank you.